today I am going to talk about fetish. Uh, fetishes and basically what triggers a fetish. Um, so yeah. Um, so there are so many different fetishes now and you know you've got so many and you know you, you can have fetishes which are sort of mild to moderate and more extreme and yeah what kind of fetishes do you have if you have any and how did your fetish sort of start what triggered it because something always triggers a thought or a fetish and what are the reasons why you were into that a thing whatever it may be now Gosh, you can't go wrong with a bit of blondie. I just want to go right, everyone. So busy. So, yeah. So, I mean, I could talk about a couple of fetishes now. Um, there's... Foot fetish. Foot fetish? Or latex or sploshing or um, eating fetishes that are very popular now and eating sounds I would put that in a fetish category um, and so yeah I don't know if I was supposed to be going that way. Just following the sat nav, but the sat nav always like make it hit up. And so yeah, uh, fetishes. I would say that I, as you might know, do have a little bit of a latex fetish, but not to the extreme level where I have to wear latex all the time. But I do feel like I want to sometimes because of lots of reasons because of how it looks how it feels when you're getting dressed into it even when you're getting dressed out of it um for lots of reasons and basically that's one example but some people for example who like latex you know they could like it and want to wear it more often, maybe wear latex hood, wear, well I wouldn't mind wearing a latex hood but I haven't done that yet, what do you think, do you think I should get a latex hood and wear one, maybe a cat one like Catwoman, um, so I guess yeah that could be part of a trigger example, like superheroes you know, and cosplay kind of does come into it, where Catwoman could be a good trigger for me because you know she she looks all nice in her PVC or her latex with her ears and it's like a ultra ego almost or something and that's one example but like some people might want to wear latex and be completely encased in it uh, or go into like a, vac a vacuum latex bed or something like that um, and some people you know they have the, the fetish to it extreme where they kind of want to wear it every day and it becomes part of their lifestyle um, so yeah so if you have a latex fetish I guess we could talk about that and let me know how your latex is triggered I guess with me it was just a case of um, you know seeing other people wearing latex and photographs or 
on on YouTube or whatever. You know, people like Marilyn and Yusuf. It looks great in latex, but obviously, like I've seen it on pictures before, and then like maybe I've been out in it, started going out in it a little bit every now and then. Uh, um, so yeah, let me know how you got your latex fetish trigger, what started it in the first place. Um, and also latex now is becoming more and more fashionable and we're see it seeing more and more of these pop stars and celebrities rocking the old latex, aren't we? They're, they're all sort of wearing the same kind of thing there, I find, that kind of natural colour or skin tone colour latex. Um, so yeah, it is kind of like a bit of a trend or used as another fabric. And then there's also li liquid latex, which is another aspect of it, which is also interesting. Um, and then there's foot fetish, which I don't have one, but I have dated people and I am, my boyfriend has a foot fetish now. And so I do understand the sort of intimacy. And I think with a lot of fetishes, such as the foot fetish, it's a good way of being intimate, extremely intimate, um, without being like too in like it is like really it's like extremely intimate and i would say without being too intimate but in some ways it can be more intimate or more sexual than than like um than like other ways so yeah foot fetish is an interesting one because people have different elements of different fetishes but but with foot fetish i, I I think that, you know, some people are into feet and heels where they love the shape of feet and heels, nicely kept feet. And you kind of get that because, you know, heel, heels is a great aspect of it. And, and some people actually have like a heel fetish anyway. So there's a heel and foot fetish. And then the foot fetish within itself can be so like diverse in like what levels or what kind of foot fetish you may have because some people actually love feet and they love it to the, to the level that some people are into like the smell of feet and I think again it's a very intimate sensual erotic thing to be into if you think about it because foot fetish is, is is like one of those things where a lot of people might not want to talk about it because they think it's a little bit strange but really it is so 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 popular and, and, and very common I find but maybe that's just me because of some of the experiences I've had and, and some of the things I've seen wouldn't you like to know maybe in a different topic let me know but i find it really interesting the psychology and the triggers what triggered your foot fetish because i had a friend once that told me he was sat down at school watching the teacher read and she was dangling her like shoe off her foot and that i think he said something like that triggered his one but but other things can can trigger the foot fetish and there's different reasons why you would like it and again with like all all fetishes um, I guess it's it's all about a way to escape escapism and people do like that kind of edgy little bit of taboo where they're doing something a bit different a bit um like edgy or a bit taboo 
that you wouldn't normally like talk about or do and people like the idea of escaping and doing things in secret and maybe sometimes behind closed doors or that although it depends on the situation because also we've got we could talk about things like like it releases like tension and things um, and I, I will say I do believe that a certain element of, of fetishes or things like that uh, do um, or they would help with other things in your life um, Oh shit, somebody's beeping at me. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then there's other fetishes such as pet play, uh, food fetishes. There's loads and loads and loads and loads, like the list never ends probably. There might be some that I don't know about. So please tell me what you think about your fetishes or other people's fetishes. Because some people it's cray cray and not into it at all. Some people are more open-minded about it. So let me know about your your thoughts.